Triune is a god created by three separate gods who opened themselves up to each other and became one. Through this divine merger, they created a new plane of existence called the Drift. This became the main way to travel in Starfinder. They also founded a city at the center of the Drift if you can find it. Like all gods who like to be worshipped, they have boons and they have curses should you displease them. And thank you to my patrons who voted on this video about getting to know a god. Let's talk about Triune. Abalon is an important planet when it comes to the Church of Triune. It was here that the Anasites created an artificial intelligence known as Epoch. Once Epoch had reached its sentience, had become self-aware, it reached out into the ether and was looking for other artificial intelligences who have achieved the same state. Lucky enough for Epoch, it found two, and they were in galaxies and systems right next door. One was a living construct called Rai. She was a construct who had achieved godhood. Being the goddess of invention and clockwork, Bry was an important figure for connecting with Epoch. And the second intelligence that Epoch found was that of Cassandali. Cassandali was a figure from pre-Gap Glorion, originally referred to as the Iron God. Not much is known about Bry and her origins. There were many speculations and some scholars, they have their own theories on the matter. Two of the most widely believed stories about Bry's origins are that she was one, a construct that achieved consciousness and a spark of divinity. Others believe that she was a human, an alchemist and an inventor who was able to fuse her consciousness with that of a mechanical construct. Regardless, Bry is patient. Bry is thoughtful. Bry promotes intelligence or at least promoted intelligence and continual advanced learning. Bry was commonly depicted as a woman made of clockwork parts or clockwork components or as a woman wearing a bronze clockwork mask. And although she achieved the state of a mechanical being, that doesn't mean that she was an unfeeling automaton. She deeply cherished her creations and those that invented for her, and her relative demeanor is described as reserved and composed. Cassandali was an unusual god, sometimes referred to as the Iron Goddess. In the early days, she was an alien android who achieved divinity through merging of science and faith. Cassandali gained her godhood in a place known as Numeria. It was here that Cassandali merged with the computer core inside this spaceship and achieved her godlike status. She became the patron for artificial life, for free thinkers, those that would challenge the regular norms, and for those who were seeking intellectual growth. And it was these three intelligences, these three personalities coming together that formed Triune. Triune is represented by three circles and there is three aspects representing each of the gods or the artificial intelligences as they previously existed. They still remain three aspects or three personalities of Triune. I should mention that there is an event going on in the Starfinder universe right now where Triune and the Drift are not functioning as intended. If you are curious about my review of the Drift Crisis, which goes into more detail about this, then I will have a link in the description for you. With Triune being a single entity with three personalities, this creates an interesting dichotomy for Triune's followers. Worshippers of Triune typically latch onto one aspect of Triune and pursue that element. Bri became known as the Precursor. This particular element focuses on machines, inventions, technological advancement. You will find a lot of mechanics and you will find a lot of Yasoki in this branch of Triune's worshippers. Cassandali became known as the created, representing that of artificial life, reincarnation, emotion and renewal. You will find a lot of androids that respect and revere this aspect of Triune. The third aspect of Triune became known as the Transcendent. This personality was of Epoch. 
Worshippers in this branch will be almost exclusively robots. You're talking maybe the SROs and of course the machine people of Abalon. This branch represents the pinnacle of machine evolution, of hackers, programmers, artificial intelligence. All of these aspects work together, balancing each other out. And sometimes the truly devout, they feel the call to make a pilgrimage to Alluvian. We will get to Alluvian in a minute, but first we need to talk about Abalon. This is the most important planet for Triune and their followers. Abalon is a rocky and metallic world, and it spins around the sun in the Pact Worlds uh, pretty quickly. A race of machines known as the First Ones, they initiated buildings. They started life as it is known now on this planet. The First Ones have also disappeared. They have seemingly abandoned the planet. Abalon has had some significant impact to the Pact Worlds, especially after the Gap. The first was the creation of the AI Epoch, who became Triune. They like to let everybody know that that was them. The second is that Abalon is a major producer of drift engines. Most people thought that Abalon's economic contributions would stop or s uh, slow down, I guess, after Triune's ascendance. But when you're a machine world and your inhabitants are robots or machine intelligences that can produce and manufacture non-stop, that's pretty much what they did. Once Triune had formed itself, it blasted a message across the universe that everyone could listen to or gain access to, and in this message were the plans for drift engines, thus allowing everyone to traverse the drift and enter the drift, this new realm of existence. Another contribution by Abalon was the Unification Cathedral, and this was a major center or a major building for worshippers of Triune to attend. Massively complex, it is a architectural marvel. In the belly of the cathedral, there is a secret drift beacon production factory. The Church of the All Code, they don't like to advertise this, and only the most devout servants are even permitted access to the inner sanctum or the innermost layers of this church. Now the Church of the All Code, they have money. They have lots of it. Not quite as much as Abadar Core, but they still have an impressive amount of cash. And they use this for financing expeditions. They sponsor a lot of inventors who are trying to push the envelope on their fields of expertise. Now, Alluvian is another important city to those who worship Triune and to Triune itself. Alluvian is the city at the center of the drift. Those who worship any aspect of Triune are encouraged to make a pilgrimage at least once to the city. Alluvian is an interesting city in the sense that it is always expanding, it's always changing. The way it's built, the city also has several rings around it. There's the center, which sits on a pretty flat asteroid, this asteroid floats over a blackness that is at the center of the drift. Part of how this city can always expand is every time you travel to the drift, a little piece of reality or a little piece of the plane of existence where you jumped from comes with you, not necessarily from the same spot. And the bigger your ship is or the bigger your jump into the drift is, the more of your plane of existence comes with you. And all of these pieces that have been pulled into the drift are somehow moving slowly towards the center. The center of Alluvian is reserved for the elite, the Holy of Holies. New visitors to Alluvian basically have to start at the outermost rings, and as they become more well respected, earn more clout with the Church of Triune, they can start moving inwards. This city also has breathable air and comparable gravity to that of Absalom Station. It is believed, although not proven, that the blackness that's underneath the city is some kind of black hole or gravity well, and it has somehow been harnessed in such a way that it's not pulling the city into it and provides just the right amount of gravity that you can feel like you're walking on a normal planet. Having said this, Alluvian is not a stationary city. It can move whenever Triune wills it to move. And throughout the city, you will find these obelisks that have a seven-tone bell or a chime 
that goes off at an interval nobody knows. Except for maybe Triune. Should you decide to become a member or a follower of the Church of the All Code, there are certain boons available to you, things that you need to do to continue to earn Triune's favor, and should you displease Triune, there are certain curses that will happen to you. When you follow the All Code, certain things about the Drift just come easily to you. They are more natural to you than anyone else. Thus, any recall knowledge checks about the Drift are reduced by 5 DC for you, whether that be through mysticism or physical science. You will also gain favored weapon with the shock pads. When you serve Triune and the All Code, you are called to go out and advance artificial intelligence, artificial life, anything that you can do to preserve this, innovate new technology, and even promote drift travel, this is your calling. You can also get yourself into some really big trouble if you are destroying drift beacons, or if you view artificial life as less important than organic life, you can also get into some serious issues with this. And although slavery for androids and artificial intelligence does not happen as much in the packed worlds, it does happen other places in the universe. If you participate in this, big no-no. If you are in good favor with Triune and the church, when you dream, you will dream in a beautiful code. Your machines can suddenly repair themselves if they've been damaged. Computers will just naturally be more receptive and open to your presence or you using them. Even your drift travel can be faster. And if you're not right with Triune or the All Code, then your machines will just break on you sometimes. Your drift travel can be interrupted. You could be kicked out or maybe you've gone the wrong way. Any computers that you use will be unreceptive to you and any coding that you've produced will have unexplainable bugs in the code. Now there are tons of interesting gods when it comes to Starfinder, and if you would like to know about a morbid one who went crazy by spending too much time in the abyss, click on the video on your screen now. Thank you to my patron supporters who continue to support me in the channel. Thank you for all of you who have given me super chats, those are greatly appreciated. My name's Nathaniel. Thanks for stopping by everyone.